Hi and welcome to this DCPWare tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use product tags in WooCommerce. Okay, so let's go ahead and open up the web browser and we've been working on this project over the last few tutorials. We've been experimenting with this project and today I want to explain product tags, right? What are product tags and how can we use them? So if we go to the admin control panel, we'll go underneath products, you'll notice there's an option here called tags. So we've already looked at attributes and categories recently, but let's look at tags. So when I click on tags, we can see some tags listed here, like boys, girls, men's t-shirt and women, right? These are tags. But if we go into all the products here, and if we edit this first one, this is the one we added as an example, um, we can see the t-shirt is gray, right? But there's nothing in the product title to say that it's a gray t-shirt or in the description or anywhere to say that this is a gray t-shirt. So we can use a tag to do that. So we can just type in gray here and then click add and then we'll click update. So now this product has this attribute called gray, right? It has a tag called gray. So when we go to the website and refresh it, if we type in gray here, let's spell it right, we can see this product pops up but the product itself doesn't mention uh, gray in the title or the description. Anyway, in here, it doesn't mention that particular keyword, but we can mention it inside of the tag. So this is why tags are quite, um, quite interesting tool to use when you wanna uh, have a customer find your product, but you don't necessarily wanna add the color to the title, or it may not be written in the description, or there might be something else about that, that particular t-shirt, right? It might be, um something themed right because this one's got like this spartan shield or black and gray or something like that something a bit different so this is how we can go about tagging products um, and you can notice when we type in gray literally only this one product will show so if we go back into the admin control panel and go back to products we can look at a different one maybe let's try and look at this one and uh this one is this one's got some manga thing going on here right so we can type in here M-A-N-G-A, -A, manga, and then add that, and then we can click update. And because this product now is tagged with that particular keyword, when we refresh and we type in manga, or just M-A-N or manga, that particular product will show up now, right? So it's like an attribute to the product, a, a text-based attribute. This is quite interesting that you can, you know, you can add your products to top level categories, you can describe them and you can write titles and everything else. But sometimes some just that little bit more of information that is in a tag can help to help a customer find that particular product. So there's a couple of other things that we can do. We can go over to the, um, we can go over to appearance, we can go to widgets. And inside widgets, if we go to the home page, and if we scroll right down to the bottom, we can see these three elements like we can see latest best selling and top rated products right we can also add a tag cloud here so for the for the actual products so if we go to the admin control panel go to widgets down here and we can see this is the footer. it's called footer one and it has these three these three elements inside of footer one and if we scroll down don't get confused right this tag cloud here is for uh, I believe it's for the post in the in the blog right these tags here but we're looking for these ones here let's see Let's find it product tags. So we can take this, drag it, and we can drag it into footer one towards the bottom here, right? It's now it's called tag cloud, and you can give it a title. We can just call it product tags, should be fine. Let's put a capital T there just to make it consistent, and then we'll click uh, save, right? And that's it, it's been saved. So if we go to the website and refresh it, we see product tags here, but it would be nice if it was kind of in a fourth column here, right? It's kind of sitting down here at the bottom by itself looks a bit strange in that position, but you can see manga written in here. You can see the word gray written in here. So you can now click on these tags to filter out products. If we click on manga, for example, it will show that one product, right? And if we click on gray, it will show the, the men's t-shirt. We we'll click gray, we can see the men's t-shirt that we tagged. Let's scroll down to the bottom again. And really I would like to position this in here. So to do that, we need to go into the customization and we're looking at uh, footer one. This one is called footer one section. So if we go to the footer section inside of the customization footer and we can see footer one is enabled and we can set it to four column and then click publish 
And if we go back here and refresh it, we'll get that extra column in here. Now that it's split into four columns, we've got the tags over here. This is a bit more clean. I think the, the interface looks a bit more better, right? Now we can just click on any of these tags and it will take us to those particular products. So if we click T-shirt, for example, it's going to show quite a lot of products because a lot, pretty much every product in here is a T-shirt. So it's going to show lots and lots of products, right? Okay. So that's how you go about adding tags. You can add them in another way. So we just close this quickly and show you. If you go back to products in product section, you've got tags here as well, and you can actually manually add them. So you can add a tag in here. You could call it something like, um, uh, let's see, let's have, let's find something sensible. So let's go to products. Let's go to the shop itself. Um, and let's say tree, for example, right? This has got butterflies in it and it's in this tree. Uh, it actually mentions tree in here, but it doesn't mention butterflies. So, um, or maybe we'll do, let's see, let's have a look at another product actually. Let's see something else. Um, hearts, right? This one's got a little, little hearts in it. So this one doesn't really mention the word hearts. So let's just type in hearts and then click add new tag. So we've got that tag there. Really all of these are lowercase, so we should really quick edit this and set it to lowercase as well. Try and be consistent. But you can see that particular um, doesn't have any count, right? All of these have been tagged with some other product, but this one doesn't. So if we go into here and if we just copy this, uh, copy this text and we can go to the products and we can search for that particular product. So here it is. So this is a quick way to search for it. And we can go in and uh, edit it. Let's just type in heart, hearts, and then we can add that, update it. And now if we were to go to here and search for it, let's see, let's search for heart. In fact, we might have to refresh it. I right, say no product found, so let's see. Um, Let's update this. Let's just try again. Let's go to home. All right, okay, we have to put the letter S in. So it has to be the full word hearts, right? Uh, not just heart, which is a bit strange. You should really find it. But I think it has to be the full word for the tag to work. We should see that same tag down here now as well, hearts here. We click on it and it will go through and show that picture. With these hearts on it, okay. So that's how you go about adding product tags. Be a bit careful. Maybe writing them in singular will be better than plural. Um, so in here, it will probably be better to change that to hearts rather than hearts with an S, like gray and boys, or it could be boy, girl, and so forth. Um, because you have to actually type the whole word in with the S in order for it to find it. So maybe we'll change that to just hearts like this. You can update it. And now in theory, Let's just go back here, type in heart, and then it will find that one product. Okay, so that's how you go about using product tags. They're quite useful, right? If you think about it, when you've got a product on your website, it could be of any sort of type of products, but you want to describe it with tags so that when people search for certain things in here, if they're searching for something that's gray, then they're going to find things that are gray, but those, those products don't necessarily need to mention that particular keyword. It would make sense that this product probably mentioned the word gray inside of the, the, the title here because you know it's just going to help and rank it better in the search engines when people are looking for certain things. It's better to put those into the title, incorporate in the title, incorporate that in the short description and maybe into the main description as well. Okay, let's go ahead and minimize this. That's how you use product tags in WooCommerce. Hopefully you find this tutorial useful. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel where you can access over 650 free video tutorials. I'll be making lots more WooCommerce tutorials over the coming weeks. So I look forward to seeing you in the next DCP web tutorial. Mm -hmm.